The Sputnik Modular Selector is a handy module that allows the user to switch between four separate inputs, sending the selected source to another module. This type of module is referred to as a sequential switch. This functionality can be useful for a number of routings, one of which converts the selector into a complex wave multiplexer. The four inputs on the selector receive any signal, including sequences, clocks, and audio. Using the trig button or CV in, we can swap between inputs sequentially or randomly, alternating between two, three, or four of the inputs at a time with the steps and direction switches. The trig input looks for a pulse or trigger to switch inputs, but we can also use a gate or square wave to trigger switching. Using this functionality, we can route four different oscillator wave shapes to the selector and switch through them to create some interesting combinations of waves in a short period. For instance, if we use a complex oscillator like the Sputnik Dual Oscillator or the Make Noise DPO, we can route one of each of the basic wave shapes to inputs on the selector. Let's start by routing each of the three outputs from oscillator 1 into the A, B, and C inputs on the selector. Then we'll route the square wave out from oscillator 2 on the DPO to both input D on the selector as well as the trig input using a stacking cable or MALT module. We'll also connect the output to the next module in our signal chain, in this case to my effects. We can now see that all of the input lights are illuminated, indicating that the square wave is selecting through them at an audio rate. We'll make sure our oscillators are in tune by setting oscillator 1 on the DPO to the same frequency as oscillator 2. Starting in tune will give a more harmonious result, so try using the follow knob as well. With the square wave oscillating at the same frequency as the other wave shapes, the selector toggles through each wave, allowing for one cycle of each wave to play before switching to the next. Enabling sync mode ensures that each wave restarts in time, making the frequency knob on oscillator 1 a sort of wave shaper, stretching out each wave and restarting them in sync with the square wave on oscillator 2 to maintain pitch. The result is a much more complex wave shape that only repeats every four cycles, creating a rich timbre that can be altered by slightly changing the tunings of the waves. Notice as the frequency goes down, the wave shapes stretch. As it goes up, they multiply, while the square wave remains intact. This gives the effect of more harmonic content while keeping the pitch the same. To take this further, try sequencing each oscillator with the same or different sequences. Want to win a Sputnik Modular Selector? Click on the link in the info to find out how. Thanks for watching, and remember to like, follow, and subscribe.